Good evening and welcome to the benefits of Canterbury, St Dunstan, St Mildred and St Peter where you join us for our broadcast service of Night Prayer or Compline on Tuesday the 16th of May 2023. My name is John Morrison and I'm standing in for our rector, the Reverend Joe Richards and our curate, the Reverend Jenny Walpole. In the calendar of the Church of England today, we are asked to remember Caroline Chisholm, a social reformer. Caroline Jones was born in 1808. On her marriage to Archibald Chisholm, she took her husband from the Roman Catholic faith. They emigrated to Madras in 1831, where she set up a school for soldiers' daughters. In 1838, the family moved to Australia and almost immediately Caroline began to work for the vulnerable immigrants arriving in, at Sydney. She was especially concerned for the women who were often lured and bullied into brothels. She set up a free registry office to help them obtain legitimate work and, to, and a shelter and she campaigned for improved conditions. She returned to Britain in 1846 to press her emigration reform and founded the Family Colonisation Loan Society. Her Christian ministry and action led to the ending of what had virtually been the institutionalisation of the abuse of poor women. Caroline Chisholm died in 1877. Today is also a rogation day of prayer of fasting for those who wish and to seek the forgiveness of God for the sins of humankind and to ask for a, a good harvest in this year. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your spirit and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Alleluia. Before the ending of the day, creator of the world, we pray that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night. Tread underfoot our deadly foe that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done through Jesus Christ, your only Son, and Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. The refrain for uh, Psalm 104, starting at the first verse and then jumping to the 21st verse, is, I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, my God, how excellent is your greatness. You appointed the moon to mark the seasons and the sun knows the time for its setting. You make darkness that it may be night in which all the beasts of the forest creep forth. The lions roar from their prey, for their prey and seek their food from God. The sun rises and they are gone to lay themselves down in their dens. People go forth to their work and to their labour until the evening. I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. O Lord, how manifold are your works. In wisdom you have made them all. The earth is full of your creatures. There is the sea spread far and wide, and there move creatures beyond number, both small and great. 
There go the ships, and there is that Leviathan which you have made to play in the deep. All of these look to you to give them their food in due season. When you give it them, they gather it. You open your hand and they are filled with good. When you hide your face, they are troubled. When you take away their breath, they die and return again to the dust. When you send forth your spirit, they are created and you renew the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord rejoice in his works. I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. Creator God, send your Holy Spirit to renew this living world, that the whole creation in its groaning and striving may know your loving purpose and come to reflect your glory. In Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Our short scripture reading this evening is from Revelation chapter 22, verses 4 and 5. The servants of the Lamb shall see the face of God, whose name will be on their foreheads. There will be no more night. They will not need the light of a lamp or the light of the sun, for God will be their light, and they will reign for ever and ever. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Alleluia, alleluia. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Alleluia, alleluia. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. Alleluia, alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Alleluia, alleluia. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. The Nunc Dimittis, the Song of Simeon. Alleluia, the Lord is risen, alleluia. As he promised to you, alleluia, alleluia. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people. A light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Alleluia, the Lord is risen. Alleluia. Has he promised to you? Alleluia, alleluia. We pray today with gratitude for your creation and all that we have been able to do within it. We ask that as we draw the night together we learn of those areas where we have failed you and resolve to improve we pray for all those who are afraid or who are dying and those who sit alongside them and we pray too for those who will find this night difficult through loneliness or lack of love. We pray that they will receive your love and your warmth. Amen. Visit this place, O Lord, we pray, and drive far from it the snares of the enemy. May your holy angels dwell with us and guard us in peace. And may your blessing be always upon us. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. On earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation 
but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep, for you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. May the risen Lord Jesus bless us. May he watch over us and renew us, as he renews the whole of creation. May our hearts and lives echo his love. Amen. Thank you for joining us this evening for our night prayer or compline. Uh, my colleague, the, uh, the, the uh, rector, the Reverend Joe Richards, will be back with you tomorrow morning at nine o'clock. Have a quiet and safe night. Good night.